Most patients, as they go for an MRI, they tend to be a little nervous about it. They know they're gonna to have to go into a machine that's gonna do the scan. And so I think anything that we can do as a health system to help make sure that that experience is as anxiety-free as possible is something that's so important. And so we really saw when we looked at this new technology that that's what it will do. It'll help make a much more comfortable experience for our patients. That's really what this was all about. Hi, I'm Robin Denko, and I was diagnosed March 12th of 2020 with colon cancer. After my diagnosis of colon cancer and my surgery, I had some complications in recovery and has some differing diagnosis in my pathology. Dr. Desai recently ordered a CAT scan to check on things at six months post-op now, and I had a spot on my liver that was worrisome. I was here today to get an MRI to make sure that's Okay, up until today, I've had three MRIs in six months, and today was wonderful. It was seemed larger, and it wasn't as confining feeling. It was faster. My other MRIs were much longer, easily over an hour. I think I was in there about a half an hour today. I was comfortable, it was smooth and easy. Air coil technology is like a piece of an MRI machine. Every MRI machine requires a detector, and the detector is called a coil. The coil takes the signal from the patient and then translates it into an image that the radiologist can look at and explain what's going on with the patient's diagnosis. The coil is a new kind of technology that used to be rigid, hard, and heavy, and now it's more like a blanket. It's a lighter, more conformable surface that goes over top the patient and is much more comfortable for them. And at the same time as being more comfortable, it also allows us to get a better picture. Being the first in the Lehigh Valley to offer this technology means that our patients are able to stay closer to home. Staying up to date in technology in diagnostic imaging is critical because the advances in technology come so fast and they can make a real difference for how fast the patients get their results, how good the quality of the study is, and how comfortable it is for them to get that study. And we want our patients to be able to have the best of those things. I do think it is emblematic of their commitment to making sure that we have the best equipment that we can possibly have. And that's what being part of a big network that's committed to patient safety is all about. I've been through a couple opinions on my diagnosis and Every day I talk about the people at St. Luke's and how wonderful they are and treat me with respect and dignity and I could start to cry. Um, so it's been a very long six months and if it weren't for people here, uh, I would be probably feeling a lot different. Like what you saw? Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss another video. To see more of The Peak TV, check out our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and catch us on WFMZ Channel 69.